Representative Brian Blake from the 19th District, how are you doing? Doing well. You have a bill about commercial fishing. Tell us about it. Yeah, a problem we've had over the years is younger fishermen breaking into the business. As older fishermen decide to retire and want to sell their business, the ability for younger fishermen to get loans that are large enough to acquire these established businesses and one problem is the banks were not able to loan against the value of the license, which can be substantial. These are limited entry fisheries, and so sometimes a license might have a value of $100,000. And so as a young fisherman is trying to borrow to buy a fairly expensive boat and a fairly expensive license, the combination of the two is a pretty large number. And when the bank was not able to loan against the value of that license, it created a big financial gap for these young fishermen to get into the business. And this bill just corrects that and allows the banks in this state to loan against the value of that license and the boat and closes that gap and allows these young families to get in the business to continue this very important economic activity in the 19th district. We have a district with two major sea fishing ports in Iwako and Westport. And these are both at or near the top 10 fishing ports in the nation. And so as you can see, this is a critical economic activity. And we want young families to be able to get into this business, to continue this tradition and heritage in our district. And now I want to ask you about 1622, drought preparedness. Yeah, this is an agency request bill that seeks to modernize the drought preparedness statute. We have been somewhat reactive in the past. Current law allows when the conditions warrant for the executive branch to declare a drought and then we begin to react to that declaration. This bill goes back and says, no, let's be prepared all the time for drought. Let's be talking about how we would react to a drought in the future by laying the groundwork for purchasing water and the ability to move water around to respond to drought emergencies. And it also broadens who can participate in this. The current statute was somewhat narrow and this broadens it a little bit to communities and others who might be impacted by drought.